Hey y'all, so I did mention that I would be doing some tarot readings and I'm gonna start off by doing some simple two card readings for um, the general sign for each month of the year. Um, so I'm going to start with a do this, don't do that reading for each sign. I'm gonna start off with my earth signs because I'm an earth sign and I'm gonna start off with Capricorn because it is still Capricorn season. And um, after the earth signs, I'll try to get through as many videos as I can tonight. And um, I'll keep them coming. They should be able to, I should be able to get through them pretty quickly because they're pretty simple. We're just doing two cards. Um, but I am still learning the cards, so bear with me if I have to refer to my notes. Um, I don't want to rattle off the wrong thing um, by trying to be too quick. Um, so like I say, yes, I'm still learning the cards. And if you're watching, I hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, take the take the parts that stick, leave the parts that don't. Don't try to make anything fit. If it's if it doesn't fit, it's just not for you. Um, but it it will be pretty general. And keep in mind, it's for the whole month. So something may or may may not fit at some point or another during that month. I'm gonna start with um, doing. January for each sign just for the whole month. I'm not going to split it up um, by weeks or by halves It's just for the whole month. Do this. Don't do that for each sign starting off with the earth signs and I want to try to flow through this as much as possible to minimize editing So I'll go ahead and reposition my camera and get started and I'm starting with Capricorn Okay, so I have pre-shuffled my disc decks, but I'm going to shuffle them again. I have the Rider Waite Smith deck and I also have the mini deck just in case I need to do any clarification. Um, so I'm gonna call to the universe, spirit guys, divine spirit, angels, archangels, guardian angels, gods and goddesses. Thank you for allowing me to receive the messages that I seek for the sign of Capricorn for the month of January in the year of 2019. Please provide us with the messages we need for our internal intuition, growth, and guidance. Please show us what we should do and what we should not do in the month of January 2019 for the sign of Capricorn universe. Do this and don't do this. Two cards for each column. Here. Two more shuffles. Two. I'm going to cut the deck. do this don't do that hmm so the fool definitely talks about taking a risk taking a chance a leap of faith a new beginning a journey um, being trustworthy being hopeful optimistic innocent spontaneous eccentric it talks about travel as well so this is definitely something that is encouraged in this in the month of January for Capricorns don't do this. Now, Four of Wands is generally a really good card. Um, it does um, speak about stability, harmony, alignment, prosperity. Um, it talks about confidence at work, a happy new home, establishing yourself in a community. It also reveals honeymoons, holidays, or a carefree honeymoon phase in a relationship. Um, prosperity, work completed. Um, so I'm not really sure why this would come up for don't do this or what aspect. Um, to me, this just kind of intuitively says to not get too comfortable maybe in a certain situation. Um, but I want to get some clarity. So universe, please clarify the four of wands for don't do this for what not to do for Capricorns, January 2019. Two more shuffles, universe. Please clarify the four of wands. Please don't do this. I'm gonna cut the deck. So 
So that is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles um, is a card that speaks about generosity, gifts, help given and received, practical, practical help, philanthropy, charity, um, success, um, or the influence of success to help others, balance, harmony, dependability. So this could talk about maybe not getting into um, a situation where you could spread yourself too thin or that you don't have enough for yourself. Don't put yourself in a situation or maybe this is like too much partying or maybe this is too much celebrating because this is a Capricorn reading. Maybe some January Capricorns are going to like overdo it for your birthday or something like that. Um, so maybe this is just a warning to not to watch your spending and not to get too caught up in a situation or a relationship any kind of relationship a job relationship a work relationship um a personal relationship what have you that's what i'm gonna take that as if that resonates with you um please let me know if not i'm sorry <laughs> i'm going to use the divine energy oracle as well to get some overall guidance for the month of january for capricorns please show me one card for guidance for Capricorns. Um, sun, moon, and rising signs. Capricorns for the month of January. One more shuffle universe. I'm gonna cut the deck. make a plan so let's read from the book what it says for this card page 25 make a plan now is the perfect time to commit to new goals yet the truth is you'll need more time than wishful thinking fantasizing and visualization if you want to successfully realize these goals. In order to be successful, you need to create an organized step-by-step -step plan for success. First, name your desires, and then honestly assess if you have the necessary skills to achieve them. If not, then get clear on what you want. Hold on. If not, then get clear on what you must do first to further your skills. The way to success is to simply do the next thing. What's the most immediate next thing you must do in order to move toward your dreams? Do that. Your divine energy is calling you to take responsibility for your desires by establishing a realistic plan of action to bring them about. It's time to move beyond pure emotion and engage your logic. Draw up a plan for success. What present abilities do you have to bring to your desired outcome? What is missing or not yet developed enough to make to move you ahead? What is missing or not yet developed enough to move you ahead? Make a list of the next steps so you can continue towards success. Your divine invitation. Follow through on your plan of follow through on your plan for success by taking daily steps towards your goal. Don't wait for others or the universe to do more than you do. Be steady and consistent as you work towards your success, and the universe will meet you halfway. With this grounded approach to success, you'll advance quickly. The only question is, what will be your first step? Well, as a January Capricorn, that definitely resonated with me. I think I will also pull a Romance Angels card just for the heck of it. To see what's going to be going on in the love life for my January Capricorns. So universe, please show me one card 
that represents the love life for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2019. One more Shuffle Universe. Uh-oh. I think I should take this one first. Oh, wait. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. This sounds interesting. So let's read more about this card. <clears throat> The romance angel sent you this card to explain the relationship you've inquired about. You have some unfinished business in conjunction with a soulmate from a past lifetime. This may involve forgiving someone, a joint project, or learning personal lessons such as patience. Soulmates recognize each other instantly, and this feeling is often registered as a sense of romantic or sexual chemistry. The magnetism that draws two people together can surpass logic because the, the purpose of the relationship is healing and learning whether or not your soulmate becomes your life partner you'll experience personal and spiritual les lessons and growth as a result past life regressions also help you uncover the answers you seek interesting interesting so january might be a very introspective and interesting month for Capricorns. Um, so if any of that resonates with you at any point this month, please let me know if you'd like a personal reading. Also contact me. I will put my personal information below where you can reach me for a personal reading and we can do different spreads. Um, I can do a personalized do this, don't do this. Um, whatever kind of reading you want, we can do it we can make one up or whatever um so thank you capricorns for watching and i hope you'll stick around next month to see your next reading with me and let me know if you'd like a personal reading bye